Welcome to Fresno City Vision. I'm Randy Reed. In April, Mayor Ashley Swearingen announced the launch of Serve Fresno, an initiative to expand local volunteerism as a way to help address community needs. At the time of the launch, Mayor Swearingen issued an ambitious call to action, challenging Fresno residents to contribute one million hours of volunteer service in the program's first year. Here to tell us more about Sir Fresno and the progress being made toward that million hour goal is Kathy Capel. She's executive director of Hands On Central California, the organization behind the effort. Kathy, welcome to Fresno City Vision. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, my pleasure. So tell us about Sir Fresno. Where did that idea come from? Well, in uh, February of 2009, um, Mayor Bloomberg in New York City launched an initiative called Cities of Service and he had been working with his organizations and city to increase volunteerism and had been working so well that he decided to throw the idea out there across the country and we started talking, hands on started talking with the city of Fresno about what would this look like for Fresno. Then in July the Volunteering in America study came out and it told us that Fresno was 74th out of 75 mid-sized cities in America mm. in terms of volunteering. And I think that just put the little um, idea in our minds, um, Mayor Schwerenson and I, that we really needed to move forward because we knew that, mayor, that volunteers were happening in Fresno okay. and uh, we just needed to increase the visibility. So it took us a little bit because of the budget, mm -hmm. but in April we launched the initiative um, with our million, dollar, million hour right. goal. Okay, and that's 74 out of 75, that's a low end for, uh, for mid-sized cities, is that what you're saying? We're, we were at the bottom, okay. next to the bottom. And we can do much better than that. We already are on the, <laughs> on the rise. This right. year's study came out and we're moved up to 69. Oh, fantastic. We'll yeah. talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Now, mm -hmm. let's talk about the 1 million hours of volunteer service in a year. That sounds mm -hmm. like a pretty ambitious goal. Is it achievable? We think it is achievable, um, and we think if Fresno State can do it, the rest of the city of Fresno can do it too. And so we actually, with Fresno State and the city of Fresno hours, we'll have two million hours in 2010. That's exciting. It is exciting. Now, Fresno State, talk about their program, different than Serve Fresno. You know, actually, leading up to the 100th anniversary, President Welty had challenged the students and faculty of Fresno State to give a million hours of service to the community and um, that's actually where we came up with the million hour idea for Serve Fresno because thinking it was a good match. Okay, excellent. So yeah. you put those two together and Absolutely. it's a powerful force. In addition to the million hours, what are some of the goals for Serve Fresno in terms of impact and results? Mm -hmm. What are we trying to accomplish? You know, we have a lot of needs in our community and um, we know one of the leading needs in our community is um, improving the educational outcomes of our children. And so we would really like to see additional mentors helping our students tutor and mentor in our community. There are a lot of great mentoring organizations. Um, through our city, our Tree City USA efforts, we've planted a lot of trees in the city of Fresno. And some of them don't have water right now. And the water trucks, because of our budget limitations, are um, not able to get to all of them. And we'd like citizens to adopt some trees and okay. make sure that they're cared for and watered and that's a, a partnership with Tree Fresno. And, um, and then we want to make sure that our city is supported as we um, you know, have had some challenging budget issues. A lot of people have lost their jobs but the work still needs to be done. And so we're helping Parks and Recreation with their programs, Police Department with their programs, Fire Department with the things they need, trying to make sure that the city has the resources to continue. Okay. Now, a lot of people, when they hear of volunteerism, might think about single project opportunities. So I go mm -hmm. and volunteer an hour or two here on this program, and I've mm -hmm. done my part. And certainly that's a component of it. Mm -hmm. But there are also longer-term volunteer opportunities available as well. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, you know, the million hours is two hours per citizen. So certainly the done in the day has a role. But ongoing opportunities are available in just about every nonprofit and, and within every city department. Um, supporting, I, I come to mind because I work with you on this, Randy, is um, the City Hall has an information desk. 
and there are volunteers that need, are needed to staff that information desk. Um, we give tours to the school students and we'd like to expand those tours to business um, people that come into our city and so we need uh, volunteers for that. We staff the airport information desk with volunteers and so there are always volunteer openings there as well. Outstanding. So if you have either a little bit of time or a lot of time. Maybe you're retired and you'd like to continue to provide service and continue to be active. There are Absolutely. opportunities in both of those areas. And if you're unemployed, it's a great okay. way to keep your job skills current and active um, so that when that opportunity comes along, you haven't skipped a beat. It's a resume builder. It is a resume builder. Very good. Now, how do people get involved with Sir Fresno? What do they do? Well, there are two ways to get involved. We have a website, surfresno.com, and people can go and sign up. Um, they can list the organizations that they are currently volunteering with because we want to count those volunteer hours. But if they're looking for an opportunity, they sign up, tell us what they're interested in, and someone from my team contacts them and helps them get connected to an opportunity that they're looking for. Or if you don't have a computer, you're able to give us a call. 237-3101 um, is our phone. And um, we'll put someone on the phone with you to help you find the right spot. Outstanding. Very helpful. Now, it's important to note that even though Sir Fresno is a partnership with the city of Fresno, mm -hmm. the hours that someone volunteers under the mantle of Sir Fresno are not just related to any work they might do with the city of Fresno. These are community hours that we're talking about, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're counting the hours towards that goal, whether you're working for a nonprofit, um, a different government organization, or the city of Fresno. Okay. And is the, are the Sir Fresno hours, the million hours, are those only counted by individual contributions, or can groups and organizations and other agencies participate in Sir Fresno? We're really liking that the organizations and even businesses are getting involved. Uh, Wells Fargo yesterday, who is our partner in Sir Fresno, um, delivered their first um, total to us of uh, 703 hours for the month of June. Excellent. And so um, businesses can get involved, organizations. I spoke to a Kiwanis on uh, Monday, and they're going to start counting their hours. So we encourage everyone, church volunteers. Sometimes people who volunteer for their churches or their children's school, they don't even think of themselves as volunteering. Okay. What if you're coaching a soccer club? Mm -hmm. You know, that's a volunteer activity. You and feel like you're playing, yeah. you know, but it is a, we do want to capture it. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And um, so on that note, you're starting to collect the hours that are coming in. Mm -hmm. you're, you're documenting those. What are some examples of what has happened with the challenge and with mm -hmm. Sir Fresno since it was launched in April? Where are we now? Well, um, as of July 1st, we're at 244,000 hours. Right. Um, I think we were all like, wow, that really happened fast. Big step. Um, since um, it launched on April 13th, um, there's been a big environmental effort with Generation Green, led by Leadership Fresno, and uh, they logged several thousand hours. Um, the Church of Latter-day Saints has a very active uh, volunteer corps, and they are out there, it seems like, almost every weekend, and we're, we're getting some hours from them. The Well Church did one of their service Sundays, and their hours were counted. The retired teachers, you know, we wonder what happened to those teachers when they retired. They are very busy. We are getting um, a little over 1,000 hours a month from them right now. That's incredible. And it is. And the Girl Scouts, who, um, you know, never think of their volunteer service in terms of hours, decided to do a count. And I think um, we all almost came off the floor. There are about 20,000 hours a month. Okay. that the Girl Scout leaders and helpers are doing. So if you're a part of an organization mm -hmm. or an agency or a group and you want to make sure that the hours or you want to contribute to this effort through Sir Fresno, contact hands-on mm -hmm. and you'll assist them in gathering up that information in those hours. Is right, that and once they're signed up, we send them a monthly report so they don't even have to remember when to send it in. Okay. They just have to fill it in. In our remaining 30 seconds or so, mm -hmm. why is it important for a community like ours to have a strong volunteer sector? You know, it's the basis of our democracy. We are founded on citizen participation, and we're only healthy and strong as we all participate in our communities. So I, I think that that's really, for me, it's 
who we are as Americans. Outstanding. Kathy, thanks for being here on City Vision today to talk about Sir Fresno and continued success. We'll be looking forward to hearing more reports as you go forward. Thank you. All right. Good to have you here. Thanks. My guest has been Kathy Capel. She's the executive director of Hands-On Central California, and that's the organization that is coordinating the Sir Fresno initiative in collaboration with the office of Mayor Ashley Swearingen. And you can get more information about Sir Fresno or register as a participant at www.servefresno.com. That's www.servefresno.com. Dot com. Sign up and participate. That's it for this edition of Fresno City Vision. I'm Randy Reed. Thanks for watching.